these potatoes. They don't look like the red, the red pipe. Today we're going to make a sweet potato pie. And I think that's how it's pronounced. Please forgive me if it's the wrong pronunciation. Had asked for a sweet potato pie recipe. I hope you're watching. There are a few types of sweet potatoes out there, so just use whatever you have. I am going to steam mine, so I'm going to peel them first. And look at that vibrant purple color. Beautiful. And then cut them into equal small pieces so that they steam a lot faster. I recommend that you steam or boil them for this recipe. After steaming and it's cool enough to handle, go ahead and mesh it with a fork. As you can see, the color is not as vibrant, but it's a deeper color. If you did boil your potato, you may have more liquid in it. Make sure you drain it well. And maybe add half the milk later on and then add more milk as you need it. We'll need about one and a half cup of mashed potato, which is 250 grams. Add one third cup or 95 grams of melted butter, one half cup of evaporated milk or 125 ml, one fourth cup sugar or 50 grams, one fourth cup of brown sugar or 50 grams, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, And let's just go ahead and mix this for about two to three minutes until everything's incorporated to just puree the potato even more. One half teaspoon of cinnamon. One fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. One eighth teaspoon of ginger or a pinch of it. And a pinch of cloves. Three teaspoon or 23 grams of orange juice. One tablespoon or five grams of all-purpose flour. Beat it for about a minute or so. And as you can see, the color is not as vibrant anymore. I'm going to add a half teaspoon of violet food color to add a little bit of color back. You don't want to add too much because once it's baked, it's going to get darker. One fourth cup of soft butter. One half teaspoon of brown sugar. A pinch of salt. One half cup of all purpose flour or 75 grams. And mix to incorporate it. If the batter is still too soft, then gradually add a tablespoon of coconut flour or other flour into the batter and just mix it. I add about 3 tablespoons of coconut flour and get it to this crumbly texture. Now line your rice cooker with two long parchment paper and use your hand to just flatten the crust on the, to the bottom as best you can. The crust will be sticky so just uh, use your hand you don't really need any other tool. And don't worry if it's not perfect, no one will notice. Give the batter a quick shake and tap on the counter to evenly distribute and settle the batter. And let's do our first bake. Now if you're brand new to baking your rice cooker, please pause the video to read these important tips. I did bake mine for three bake cycle or three cook cycle, which is one hour and 30 minutes. But each rice cooker varies, so check yours after two cook cycle. Boo! Did I scare you? <laughs> I really want to see your 
creation of my recipes. So I made it easier for you to upload your pictures and videos to share with me. I set up a Facebook page, Rice Cooker Baking with Life of Pain. Plus, I created a few Instagram accounts. But if you want to find this information on the mobile YouTube app, if you go into the About page and right at the bottom, that's where the links are. To search for me in the Instagram app, just search for Life Space of Space Pain. And the thumbnail picture will be my YouTube thumbnail. So it should be pretty obvious. On the Facebook page, I will link my YouTube videos in each of the posts. So if you made a creation of one of my video, find the post and upload your pictures or videos underneath that post. I would love to see all your creations. And this is after three quick cycle. And looks like our sweet potato pie is done. Allow it to cool for one to two hours for the pie to set before cutting. You could really help me out by giving me that thumbs up below. If you're new here, I upload a new recipe every Saturday. So don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon. And this pie is creamy and with a crispy crust. Mm -mm -mm. This pie is at a too sweet tooth sweetness scale. Double the sugar if you want it sweeter. You are so awesome for watching my video to the end. Please give me that thumbs up down below if this video was enjoyable and helpful to you. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? And that notification bell too, so that you know when I upload new videos and you don't miss any of them. And I would really appreciate it if you share my videos and my channel with your friends and family and ask them to subscribe as well. But until next time, happy baking.